Coach uh, Bray's talking about their balance, but are they going to try and just punch in the nose? Are they a physical team? Absolutely. I think they're one of the more physical teams in the league with just how the team has been built, the style of play that they utilize, and, uh, you know, they have uh, a certain part of their offense where they're under center and the tailback's at seven, seven and a half yards deep and he's going to come running downhill. And uh, they got a massive offensive line um, and they're going to try to knock you off the ball and try to let the running back build up ahead of steam and, and go hit it up in there. Is this maybe the toughest challenge for your front seven uh, to, to date? I know Stanford's probably pretty good, but do you feel like this is the, the biggest challenge? I you think so. Face, yeah? I think so, yeah. And, uh, you know, I mean, as far as the, you know, the experience and the physicality of their offensive line, I think is going to be the best that we've seen so far, especially from a run blocking standpoint. Looking back at the UCLA game, in terms of the coverage, it seemed like it was a little bit uh, more improved, kind of like you mentioned, an ever-growing thing. What's kind of the mix of the uh, of kind of that press versus, um, you know, maybe backing off a little bit look? For you guys. Well, yeah, it depends on what, what coverage you're playing, and then it also depends on the splits of the receivers, whether you're going to press them or not. And so all those things come into play, whether we're going to challenge a receiver at the line of scrimmage, plus the down and distance. Obviously, you play third and ten a lot differently than you play third and four. And so we try to mix it up, and that way they don't have exactly one thing that they're going to expect all the time. And speaking of that a little bit, can you touch on Isaiah Dunn and just the play he's had in the last couple of weeks? He's had some big-time pass breakups. Yeah, you know, he. Uh, I think his game has gotten better as the season's gone along, and I think he's playing his best football right Right now and we need him to um, you know he's a veteran returning guy for us and uh, he's experienced out there and we need him to be at his best I know the game was you guys had already sealed up the game there that that last drive UCLA had you know you kept them out of the end zone they were trying to go there right. how important was that for you guys to kind of have that success and not allow them to and how big was it for the defense just to, to, to come through there overall having we actually had two different two minute scenarios one before the end of the half and one at the end of the game and be able to come away with those and not allow any points was big for us for some growth. Uh, we've been in those situations in the past, you know, at Hawaii before halftime, and uh, obviously at Stanford at the end of the game, and we didn't come away with what we wanted. And so to have success in both of those situations, I think gives our guys some confidence to go out there and, and do that again. You know, Jonathan mentioned it a couple weeks ago, but he said, you know, if the team could get a little confidence, get a win, whatever it was, you know, it would multiply quickly. What have you kind of seen in the week after this? Obviously, guys are back in uh, their zone, so to speak, but is there kind of a new confidence, especially defensively? Yeah, you know, I think that uh, our, our guys have put in great effort all year, and then obviously it's, it's fantastic to see that effort rewarded with a win. And, uh, you know, I, I do think there's a little extra bounce in their step. And uh, I do think that it, it, it helps confirm that, you know, the, the message that we're sending them, the um, techniques that we're utilizing, and stuff, that stuff works. And so I think that does help out for the guys that, to believe that, hey, if we do what we're coached to do, we're going to go out there and we're going to have success and we can win games. UCLA going forward on fourth down it wasn't even close. Your guys got into the backfield. Was that genius play call or good penetration? Uh, it's good players. It's always good. When they do well. It's always good players. When they it doesn't work, it was the scheme. Mm. <laughs>